G'day people, I'm Onstad. Welcome back to Empyrean Iron Man Season 8. Today is the Week 2 mission. Do, do, do. Um, as you've seen in the last episode, I did a, bit, a little bit of work on the base. There's my two cats in place. I actually have names for them. Hmm. Bob, one. Bob, <laughs> original name, Bob. And, hmm, Ali. Ali Cat. Bob Cat and Ali Cat. There you go. Perfect. All named. Uh, so, done a bit of preps for getting ready for the mission, and I think I'm just about there. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is hop off in the turret buster and take out the turrets on this weapon bunker. So, everything should be ready. I've got a little bit of food on me. I don't have much with me. Um, I have the motorbike for one reason only. If everything goes wrong and I get shot down, I want to be able to jump on the motorbike and skedaddle out there as quick as possible before, hopefully before all the enemy Xerax patrols, because the weapon bunker is actually surrounded by enemy Xerax patrols, um, before any of those shoot me to death. So let's power this bad boy on. We are fully armed. Uh, yeah, I don't have many spare rockets, but We've got plenty of rockets in the system. If I remember right, there are there are two turrets on this thing. Uh, where is it? It's this away. Yeah, if you remember right, there are two turrets on this side by side on one side, so they should be fairly easy to take out. Um, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get over there. If it's night time, I've got my tent with me, so I'll sleep so that it's daylight when we get there. Oh, there's that colony over on there. Very strange constructions, those. I um, I, I just took out colony in my last episode of my uh, Season 2 Alpha 8 playthrough. And incredibly unstable. I'm not sure if I just got unlucky with mine. It started falling apart as soon as I started taking blocks apart. Loads of turrets on it, but apart from that, really poorly defended when, once you get to inside it. Um, very strange. Strange building. The Xerox sure can build their defense facilities, but when it comes to their accommodation facilities, they suck. So what's that down there? It looks like one of the unknown artifacts. Are we going to be flying over? anything dangerous on the way doesn't look like it okay good oh good and we're approaching from the side of the water as well so when we come back in the HV that will help tremendously to get a line of sight on the Xerax on the shore while still keeping us relatively safe yeah so I've just got light armor at the moment um, not a lot of stuff with me because I don't intend getting out of this vehicle at any point at all so I'm going to cut here because um, it looks like it's going to be dark so I'm going to cut park in a safe spot probably this side of this water and then sleep till morning and then we'll take this out in daylight so I'll see you in just a moment later welcome back so slept on the side of the mountain Seem to go okay. It's now daylight and we are ready to hit this thing. So let's get on to rockets. We'll go up a bit because I don't want the Xerox patrols shooting at my ship. Um, I'm going to squeeze in the FOV a bit just to give a bit of a zoom capability okay so radiated fog Are you kidding me I can't even see the turrets I think they're this side it's these two here so they're side by side on this um, so hopefully we're going to be covered by the other one so what much I range 299 Okay, let's let's go in and do this. Ooh, a lot of drones. Oh, 
Oh, let's get out of there. So this is a reason, one of the reasons I put these wings on this, so we could. And it flies just as fast sideways, so I can skedaddle out of here with the wings giving it some protection. Yeah, a bit of a mistake getting below those drones. That was a pretty poor bombing run, really. Um, far enough off the ground should be. Get it into repair mode. Should never have taken that much damage with just two turrets. It's crazy. That was a lot of damage as well. Do do do. Most of it's looking good. I think this time I'm going to come straight down on top. <clears throat> it means I'll take fire from both the turrets, but I won't take any fire from the the drones. I mean, they don't do a lot of damage, but three of them together, it all mounts up. Okay, let's try this again. Get onto rockets. And this ship's been designed so that it can pretty much fly on its nose as well, so... I think I might have taken one of them out, actually. Yeah, I think we got one of them. The range on this... Heavy gravity planet doesn't help as well. Because the range is not sorry, the range is reduced, not because of heavy granite heavy gravity, but because of the thick atmosphere. Okay, cool beans. An are you kidding me? I hope that doesn't mean my game's about to crash. I think we're good. Okay, what I want to do now is the other thing I'm allowed to do is take out any Gatling guns, or sorry, Gatling guns, any turrets or spawners that are on the external area of the base. Um, and I know this little area here has three or four turrets in it, and I think there's at least one spawner outside. What I've got to be careful of is fire from the ground from the enemy troops. So. I'm certain there's a spawner on the outside somewhere. There it is. Boom. Get rid of that. Lots of loot in this thing. Um, tons of it. So the entrance is this side. That's uh, Where's that in relation to that water? Oh, good. So it looks like we're going to come over the water directly into the entrance. That is good. Alright, I want to try and take out these turrets. There's one. I'm pretty sure there are more than just two in that little structure there. And like I said, because they're external to the base, we're allowed to do this with the SV. So, not breaking any rules. I don't feel like I've been shot at from the ground as yet. Oh, troop transport. Go on, die one, don't you? Now I'm being shot up from the ground. You are not getting away. And there we go. I mean, he already landed his troops, but, you know, there are troops all around anyway, so another four soldiers really isn't going to make a lot of difference. Oh, 
I want to clear out these other couple of turrets. I'm pretty sure they're in there. Um, they're fair game. If I could hit them. Oh, that's a bush. The crickets are annoyed. Bless them. These will probably respawn by the time I get here with my HV. The only reason I'm taking them out is because I want a closer look at this structure here because I'm sure there are at least two more turrets in this thing. What I don't want is when I come into my HVs to get blatted by... Oh, what's going on with these errors? I don't want to get blatted by um, some turrets. I may have to restart my game in a moment. I keep getting these error warnings. Okay. I think we'll leave it at that. I'm going to have to cut there, take this back to the base, then restart. Boom. Um, yeah, re sorry. Distracted. Restart the game. Uh, because I keep getting these mess error messages. I don't want the game to crash halfway through when I'm doing the, the base on foot. So I'll cut there, um, just so you know, I've still got zero deaths. Um, so I'll head back and continue the episode once I've restarted the game. Um, in fact, I'll continue the episode once I get back with the HV within range of the, the troops that are on the ground there. So I'll see you shortly. Later. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, so I restarted the game. Haven't had any error messages as yet. The radiated fog has cleared, which is good. Um, just got here with the HV. And I'm just about to sleep the night away, so should be able to reach this from here. Boom. Shut myself in. Uh, what I was thinking of doing with these doors, I think I mentioned before, these are the weak points. I might change for shutters. What I might actually do is, is add a shutter. I think I'm going to be. I think I'll be able to add a shutter here. And just uh, that way, I can make them double doors, um, and I may be able to do that with a rear door as well, which I think would work better. So I'm in my heavy armor now. Um, what I'm going to do now is just get myself equipped properly. Uh, I'll leave my tier two pistol as a universal door opener. Sniper rifle can stay there. Shouldn't need that many explosives because there is a there is a sh short route down on this one. Um, let's just load these. That's loaded. 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 I don't expect to have to use a rocket launcher, um, but that's just a more of a just in case thing. Uh, food, medicine. Let's grab a bunch of those. Bunch of food. I think I'll munch on one of those now. Take those because they last a bit longer. Take that. Let's just take that. That should do us. And some bigger healing stuff. Night vision goggles, medicine. So I also have the medical center in the HV. Uh, I think I've got a few a few general medical, medical supplies there as well, just in case. So we should be good to go. Let's um, mow down some Xerox patrols, shall we? Okay. 
Okay, so I probably want to, I think I want it a bit lower so I can make sure the guns can engage these guys properly. I don't expect to see any resistance until I get to the other side of the water, uh, he says. Okay, so there's plenty. So they stretch a good kilometre out from the base thing. So this could take a little while to get through these. Um, I am going to loot some of the soldiers because they will have things like laser ammunition, medical supplies, food, um, and useful stuff like that. So I think it's definitely worth doing that. The good thing is this can continue shooting while I'm looting. Hey, that should be a song, shouldn't it? You could shoot while I loot. Doodaloo doodaloo doodaloo. <laughs> Laser ammo, good. So this is probably now, oh nice. Um, one of the biggest, I guess, pains of trying to get through to a to one of the Xenu bases anyway is trying to get through all the patrols um, so what I want to do is make myself make my way down to the water and go from there didn't I just see some? yes I did at least that way I can avoid a lot of patrols that's the other things these guys will have they'll have um, weapon upgrades, which is one thing we simply can't make and we can't access because we don't have access to a trade station. Shouldn't there be another one? Can't see him. Can't see him. Yeah, for instance that. So it's how we're going to get the upgrades to be able to get the enhanced weapons. So apologies for stopping and, and looting here. I know you probably want to get on with the combat, but um, I just think it's pretty... At this point in the game, because we can get the, the weapon upgrades and more valuable ammunition, I just think it's worthwhile doing. Come on, take these ones out. Why aren't you shooting these guys? Shoot them! him hiding behind the rock I can see you I see you and so do my guns there's a couple more patrols down there by the river or by the, the lake which I'm gonna have to get through before we get to the water yes I guess there's a couple of ways you could do this um, is you could go in with an SV, blow out the turrets, park the SV in the base and hope a drone doesn't come flying back, um, a replacement drone, and destroy your SV, which has happened to people in the past. Or you could build some kind of anti-personnel HV as I've done here which I think personally I think it's a safer way to do it particularly now you can get the, the medical bay on the HV as well it just makes the HV so much more valuable who are you shooting at? weapon upgrades, cool Oh, more health packs. Yummy, scrummy, and delicious snacks. So I've got a lot more laser ammunition. Is that really all the laser ammunition I had? I thought I made more than that. Hmm. Oh, hum. So what have we got? Heavy weapon upgrades, shotgun upgrade. I really need the, the rifle upgrade, sniper rifle upgrade. They're the two things I really want what I really really want. Let's have a snack. 
and keep moving forward keep pushing on so I think I saw the entrance facing the water yeah good that makes life a bit easier All right let's take these guys out so there's no replacement drone as yet then come on keep shooting them they're not pausing to reload that's the thing I'm not sure what they're pausing for Why aren't you shooting that one? No, oh, they are. Um, one thing I did realise or see in my playthrough is um, turrets on HVs were really struggling to target the, the toasters, the, the mechanoid robots, the combat mechs, whatever they're called. Um, Hopefully that's been resolved because they do hit pretty hard. They've all got laser weapons. So some hiding behind the trees. That's a prey. Oh, absolute pain that is. So we've nearly cleared it. I'd really like to clear that lot in those trees. So. Could become an issue. I think that's got them. So the idea for this one is I want to reverse in to this. A lot of, a lot of crickets around, aren't there? I'm going to have to clear the perimeter. I think um, just to be on the safe side. There are just so many. There's some mechs over there as well, just ahead of us. Where are those? There they are. Should have emptied my inventory. Lots of people heard me say it, but it's, I'll say it again, it's the shotgun Xerox that, that probably worry me the most out of all of them. Um, at close range, they're, I guess they could almost be considered overpowered because they really do hit hard. Even with heavy armor on, you can struggle a bit to survive two blasts from that. Okay, all right, so how are we looking? We've got some mechs over there. See, they are within range of my guns. Oh, they are taking them, but slowly. They seem to be a real glitch with um, targeting these mechs. I might have to jump into one of the turrets and just take those out myself. Um, let's do that. Let's do it. So I did name the turrets. <clears throat> Go for that one. Oh, what happened there? What on earth? That just glitched round. Let's get out of that turret. Try the rear right. Is 
Does my vehicle change position? I think that one is destroyed, but it just hasn't registered on my graphics that it has been. Let's move a bit closer and we'll probably see it explode. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. We're probably good now. Tree line worries me a little bit worries me a little bit, but I think as far as clearing the immediate area, we're pretty much there. I'm not gonna fit this in, am I? Oh not to worry. Let's do it like this. That should work nicely actually. I'm going to have to leave the engines running, unfortunately. Which is going to waste power. But I don't tend to be in here too long. Or can I just rest it on there, I wonder. Let's try it. Let's try it. That'll work. Let's turn the jet back on. Alright, so there's the door. Let's pop the ramp down. And let's have something to eat. I need to clear my inventory before I do anything else. Lots of good stuff. I'll eat the sandwich. I'll keep that one with me. That lot can go into fridge we should be good to go I'll leave that open so I can quickly access the medical if I need to all right let's open this door knock knock An armored door, obviously. Okay, I can see somebody. Let's do this a smart way. Ascending the drone. So I just want to see where the spawner is more than anything. Because I can't remember. So I'm going to have turrets either side. Okay, I'm going to have to get in there before these two guys respawn. So let's not mess around anymore. Let's leave this open so I can get back into it. Sure, we don't have another spawn pad around the side. Oh, 
I'm not going to flick any of these switches. <laughs> okay, what do you got on you? Nice. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Now one of these switches will open this door. Um, it's an armoured door. Let's just blow it. Uh, let's get that out of the way and replace it with some of these. Should be a lift, I think, from a right link. So let's have a quick look. Well, I should be able to just get my drone out here. So there's two ways you can go here, down here. There's the difficult way, through that door, which I am not going to do. And there's this way. So if I get my multi-tool, you'll see this is a trap door. Um, and this is a shortcut to the core. And one of the switches up there, I think, will open, or one of the switches in there will open this. But a gun will open it just as good. So let's head down there. I'm going to struggle to get out of there, aren't I? Oh no, I can get out. That's the important thing. Okay, so I think it was, yeah, it's that one. Now, spawn the drone again. Come on, we should be able to spawn in here. It's too high. That's annoying. Right. That's a trapdoor. Well, it's a trigger plate for the trapdoor right there, which has a turret behind it. There we go. Oh, what's that switch do behind there then? Anyway, what I'm going to do is get rid of this block here. Well, that switch opens this trap door here and just there under that is the core unfortunately there are mobs in here oh, wow I wish I could spawn my drones and have a look in there uh, I'll probably have to do can I spawn it from in the lift no let's go Let's go back out here then. Okay, so there's the core, um, but I'm going to need an explosive on the top of that to do it. Oh, there's the spawn pad. Um, and there are, yeah, they're miniguns, aren't they? I think there's a couple of turrets in here as well. Yeah, one there. Let's try and get underneath that. So what do you got? Just a couple of minigun and a turret. So, I mean, I, hmm, I'd probably be able to withstand fire from the two miniguns and the turret whilst I took them out, but I don't really want to do that. I'm hoping to jump, get onto that block there and hopefully place a charge on that. From there, let's see if it will work. So, can I place a charge from one block up? No, I can't. Damn. 
darn it, I should say. Alright, let's try and take out the spawn pad for a start. Without falling off. Get our laser rifle. Can I target that um, thingy turret? No, I can't. I think my best bet is to jump in front of the core block there. That way I'm going to be able to avoid the fire from the turret whilst targeting them. Or maybe jump over there, take out the turret and try and then do that. Which way to go? Which way to go? I definitely can't place a block on that, can I, from here? No. That's what I wanted. Access to these two guys. Come on, come on back for more. Okay, one down, one to go. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, was there another turret? Oh. How did I miss you? Okay, that's the room secure. Oh! I opened the door. That's not good. Let's get this done quick so I can shut the door. Right, that should open the core. Let's close that door. The door was closed. It's just a glass door. Okay, because that corridor's got some nasty things in it. <clears throat> okay, so that's mission accomplished. What I need to do now is just salvage a couple of blocks. To prove it. Not the one I wanted to break, but... Hey-ho. What have we got in here? Ooh, rifle grade. Nice. So my intention will be to salvage a couple of the sentry guns around the base and then just be a bit smarter with regards to taking out and clearing the rest of the base. I'll just use sentry gun, put some projectile rounds in one of the... in. Oh, let's put my core in it, um, into one of the ammo boxes. And then I can just use the sentry guns to safely take care of all the stuff. I was to put it there, that way I can jump back out again. So let's have a look. What have we got? Lots of sentry guns, good. Three ammo boxes. Hmm. Um, what I'll do is I'll stick a couple of thousand rounds into that ready to go. Okay, okay. Yep, okay. Just so wonder what we got in here then. What have we got in here? Very rare. <gasps> More heavy armor. A multi turret. I just built a multi turret and put it on my HV and I've just got another one. 
Ooh, laser drill modules. Nice sniper upgrade. Oh, perfect. I'm finding exactly the right stuff. Let's just get rid of those as we empty them. Oh, are you kidding me? More heavy armor? I'm swimming in it. Swimming in the stuff. Right, let's try and get out. Don't want that door to open. It's got some nasties in. Okay, so let's salvage that one and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Oh, I'm going to have to empty some stuff first. as well. Can see some upgrades happening. Let's put some of this stuff away. my rocket launcher. I accidentally put it in this one. I did indeed. Okay, I shouldn't need that stuff now. He says. <laughs> um, there are a couple of uh, alien loot containers up here as well, weren't there? Uh, I'll do that in a minute. There's tons of them. Yeah, I think there's quite a lot of loot uh, with regards to alien loot containers. There's a lot of them in this place. Okay, so let's pop down here. Where are you all? Oh, it doesn't look like anything spawned in here. Okay. Oh, I couldn't have got close enough to these spawners, but I can hear a lot. I want, they're probably in that corridor below. Oh, there's a couple of them here. Okay. Okay, take them out then. Come on, and the other one. Okay, so it's waste time I doing this, but you know, it's the safest way to do it. Okay, I came that way, didn't I? There's nothing else through there. Hello, boys. I don't want you wandering in there. I'm down there as well. Okay, so this section here looks like a good spot. Are you too close to it? Is that what it is? Where did the other one go? How did you get in there? Want something done? Do it yourself. 
Stand up. When a sentry gun shoots them automatically, it takes about four shots to kill them. When I do it, it takes 15 or whatever. I don't think you're getting away. Okay. Cool beans. So that's how I'm going to clear the place out um, and get all the loot. And what I'll do is I'll stick a couple of extra cargo containers on the HV and I'll show you all the loot that I get. Cool beans. It's looking good so far. They never have armor in them, though. They never have armor in them. Oh, I've got a new statue for my base. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to call an episode there. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Fairly simple one to, to take out if you know where the the route is down to the core. Otherwise, it can be a bit of a tough one. Um, but yeah, no problem at all. First mission, well, first combat mission, I should say, is complete. Week two mission, officially finished. On to week three. We'll see what the next mission will be. Until then, I'll see you guys later please check out the other competitors and see how they did in their weekly missions i haven't watched any of the weekly missions yet and i won't watch them until i've posted this one um hopefully everyone will get through it i'm sure there'll be a few casualties all along the way please check those out the links to their channels are in the description below i'm monster dad thank you for watching and i'll see you later <laughs> bye oh and before i forget there's my stats, zero deaths, level 23, 138 kills, and there we go. Later.